I'm John Blackwood. I'm a full-time Computer Information Systems, or CIS, instructor at the Umpqua Community College. And I teach the networking courses that are part of the degree, which is approximately eight or nine courses. So who is the Associate of Applied Science, or AAS, in the CIS department intended for? It's, uh, the degree is intended for people who want to come to college for two years and graduate with a degree that will earn them a family wage. That's the big deal with us. Some people consider the Associate of Applied Science or the AAS degree to be a terminal degree, but it's not. The AAS degree from the UCC can be extended to Southern Oregon University and other colleges, fully accepted, allowing the degree holder to begin college at a four-year school as a junior. What does it take to be a CIS student? What, we're, what we are really looking for are people who are naturally curious. So if you try to solve a computer problem and can't go to sleep until you finally figured it out, or you read something in science or in math and you just can't easily solve the problem, and you stay with it until it's done, until you figured it out, then you're one of us you should probably be a CIS student because we hate it when we can't solve problems and we like to stick with it until we figure it out. What will CIS students learn? Well, primarily, hopefully, how to think and to think outside the box. We are interested in helping folks learn principles and then apply them in real life situations. And we'll talk to you about the theory of server management, for example, or the theory of programming and then implement that in the real world. After we've got a basic implementation down, then the idea is to make things where they don't work anymore, break things, and then have you fix it based on the things that you've learned. What types of projects or coursework should students expect to see in the CIS degree? Lots of different uh, types of events. So you'll work on your own, where you're forced to learn and do You'll work in groups, same outcomes, but also work in groups where nobody really knows the answer. So you'll have to research on your own and in a group. Uh, you'll solve networking problems. You'll receive programming code that doesn't work and have to fix it. You'll create websites, implement code on websites that are already working. So we try to give you things that work, things that are broken, and test all of your thinking so that you know how to solve real world problems. Hi, my name is Vince, and I'm an instructor here at UCC, and I teach computer uh, classes including programming and databases. Our CIS degree is intended and designed for a student who um, are hardworking and also uh, want to pursue to IT uh, careers. In order to be successful in our CIS degree, you need to be not only hardworking, you also need to have the desire to learn at any time, including after you graduate from our program. In our program, we want you guys to learn not only the basic um, business procedures, accounting, math, um, communication skills, but also we want you guys to have a strong and good foundation of networking, um, server administrations, programming, and databases skills. In our CIS degree, you not only need to do your weekly homework, you also need to do some term projects to practice what you have learned, including like um, game programming and database applications. These are some of your our previous students have done database applications games and stuff like that. As you can see, these are good example to show your future employer what you have done in school and how you program each of the applications. 